grabbing tongue scrapers, all right? Because I don't have a girl anymore to do that for me. <laughs> Segregation is my favorite part of the morning. Ignore the hair, by the way. Segregation is the best part of the morning, and to fulfill that pleasure, um, we're gonna be separating all these, all my laundry, separate from the whites, from the blacks, the colors. It's a good time, you know what I'm saying? It's not a great start, never mind, my bad. By the way, good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of uh, Aldwin Shenanigans. We've got a bunch of stuff going on today. Today's actually gonna be quite a busy day, so stick around, all right? But first, Actually, before we even get to segregation, right? It's time to feed the fishies. Y'all want something to eat? Yes, sir. Ooh. Oh, look at them go. Yes, sir. They're mowing that down. Love that. Thank you, guys. Good job. All right, here's a segregation montage. Someone's gonna take that club out of context one day. That's the fun part, though. This is my brutality. This Ray Ripley shirt, bro. You know what? I'm gonna wear this today. Does it still smell all right? This must fight. All right, done separating the rights. This is so bad. I'm sorry. Now we start off with blacks here. All right, into the ringer you go, boys. You know, it took me a while to realize that like I shouldn't be carrying my laundry like this. I shouldn't be carrying around like this. I should just put it in the basket, but you know, it's all good. All righty, all righty. Okay, okay, okay. Bro, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. But... No, genuinely, I didn't mean to say that. That's that. That that's on me. All right, next step. I gotta go to the bathroom. Give me a minute. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, ladies and gentlemen, I, I was fighting the urge to wear my pajamas uh, to the gym. But can you blame me though? It's it's quite comfy, all right? So my check engine light's on. Well, not anymore, but it was on a couple of days ago. The reason why is because it, it, was, it was because of the spark plugs, right? I didn't take it to the shop because we kind of already knew like what what uh, what was the reason. And it wasn't a blinking light, it was, just a, it was just a steady light. That's five lights. Well, like I said, it's not on right now, so it's four lights, but I think this happened on Sunday, if I'm correct. Like we just bought this car, man. Gateway, what the hell? I mean, my car is driving fine, so it's not too bad but it's like it's still it's still a minor inconvenience i could be chasing but my time would be wasted they got nothing on you baby first off you in a click you claim what's up come with rock come with quick you already know what time it is time for walmart no i got a few things i gotta grab because I, I always forget stuff i don't know what it is okay nothing too crazy a little bit of things here and there we're gonna be grabbing tongue scrapers all right because i don't have a girl anymore to do that for me <laughs> remember kids it's always important to tongue scrape right if you don't tongue scrape it's a little it's a little nasty i can't cap to you oh here's one is this metal oh this is stainless steel oh hell yeah that's the one that i want i've always been running it with the with the little plastic disposable ones this one's Perfect. Wow, we're just discovering good stuff today, huh? You know what? Professional oral kit, all right? I'm a professional when it comes to oral, so I need the tools for it. I want to start getting back into the bulk again. Like, seriously. I've said that plenty of times, so I swear to God. To help with that, I want to I wanna eat uh, like, a, like a protein bar every day. Like, really bulk up. I think I'm at like 152 or something like that, but I feel like I, I could definitely go higher. Calories. Ooh, 360 calories. I'm also gonna get some snacks, bro. I'm I'm feeling a little fat ashes. A fat a fat fat a bro. I, that's not the right term. I'm a, a big back. How much are chicken nuggets? Damn, eleven dollars. No worries, no worries. I love milfs. My bad. <laughs> this is the fat ass. So this, or, sorry, this is the big back section. My bad. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really like the biggest like snack guy. You know what I mean? I've always been a meal type of person. I'm talking about women. Shaq has a new gummy line? Jesus Christ. What does this man can't do? Let's see if it's actually good. This is something I would definitely model for. What the f*** is this? What the f***? Alright, Vogue. Can you smell what the Shaq is cooking? Nah. We'll see. Whenever I eat gummies, right, I have like a certain texture that I go for or certain malleability i'll say with the ones that i like when it comes to gummy candies i like the welch the, the welch like feeling malleability like i said and the one that i don't like is a great value smiley like gummies one is softer than the other all right i'm really hoping this one fights back because if it doesn't and i just like and i bite through it and it just cuts in half i'll be upset the big cactus i don't know what the big cactus is supposed to be ah mixed berry all right I, I don't know why I said malleability. I could have literally just said chewiness. This chewiness right here, very similar to the extra large like Sour Patch Kids. And it's in between that Welch's and 
the Grey Valley stuff. It's a good balance. I'm not gonna lie, this whole episode's kind of been of a, a little bit of a big back episode. From the post-workout meal with the chicken nuggets, this bit right here with the shackalicious XL gummies. Yeah, it's been a little bit big back, but let's take it even <laughs> let's take it even a step further, ladies and gentlemen. I got crumble cookies waiting for me in 20 minutes. Yeah, just play the song. Big bag, big bag. We're here to answer the age-old question because I I've seen this online of people saying, ah, you know what? Crumble cookies so mid for like the for the amount of cookie that they give you, like the overpriced cookies, and it doesn't even taste that good. You've intrigued me. All right, I ordered a six-pack of cookies, just all kinds of different flavors and different types of cookies, right? And I guess in my experience, man, the last time I had crumble, it was it, it was good. Well, <laughs> there's a there's a reason why it was good because it was free. One of my customers at, at the daycare, she gave us a box of crumble cookies as kind of like a celebration for her dog's birthday right it tasted good because it was free no no seriously though it actually tasted pretty good that's according to my memory now my memory could be completely wrong and it could be completely trash right now but you know what uh we're not going to use that as a judgment okay depending on how this whole cookie review goes i might actually do a an extension of this video sometime soon of doing a comparison either crumble cookie or the one that's pretty popular here insomnia cookie i'm not gonna lie though one's kind of weenie hut jr and the other one's salty splatoon because crumble cookie is kind of more for the family more for the kids more for the family it closes at a decent time right here's why it matters an insomnia cookie i think that one is the salty splatoon out of the two because that one's actually marketed towards uh stoners i myself have had uh, a insomnia cookie all right and i think from the last time i tried it just like crumble cookie it was it was delicious as i mentioned though insomnia cookie is kind of marketed towards uh uh to, I can't speak, to let it out, uh, stoners, there we go, because for some reason, their, their, their place closes at 3, 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. or something like that, I, I fancy both, after today's video, eventually I might do a comparison video, last Christmas, I gave you my heart, this year, to set me from tears, I give it to someone special, I love you, I meant it, now I know, I guess I was a shoulder to cry on. Righty, we have returned with the cookies. God damn. How much are the brownie ones? My God. You guys literally couldn't see it. My fault. I need the wide angle lens for this one. Jesus Christ. Talk about a mess, ladies and gentlemen, but let me get the thummy, all right? One of them isn't even a cookie. It's a f***ing brownie. Perfect. There's my thummy. All right, is this going to be mid or is this going to be great? Or mid or lit? <laughs> I'm not making the video titles that. Is this going to be mid or lit? Maybe I could go with that. It's not lit right now, though. A bunch of crumbs everywhere. Let's go ahead and go home. There was this... <laughs> See, the thing is, there was this one specific video that I saw of Crumble Cookie, right? The subject were the people, because there was a huge line for crumble cookie and someone literally drove past them playing the the big back song the the dora one it is ridiculous for that many people to be in line for crumble cookie but let's see if the hype is worth all right i don't think it'll be that worth it like with that many people but let's see if it's good at least let me tell you what though the marketing that they do on that something else it's working because it's pretty busy in there is that a dachshund it's a dachshund ah! my bad <laughs> i love dachshunds man where's the love people it's just all hate nowadays, huh? Hello, music video ass monologue. My bad. People fall in love in mysterious ways. So, honey, now smile forever in my mind and memory. We found love right where we are. Oh, it's been a minute, boys. Now I can't keep you from loving him. You made up your mind. <laughs> Welcome back to another food review. Crumple cookie time. It is time to bless my tongue. This is going to be a comprehensive review of crumble cookie. For <laughs> comprehensive review. Jesus Christ, it's a cookie. <laughs> Actually, I need a fork for this one. I swear I'm not a weirdo, all right? I don't eat cookies with, with forks. I, this is literally just because I don't want to give myself diabetes tonight. <laughs> I'm not going to be eating all this. But here we go. Let's talk a little bit about crumble cookie. Crumble cookie, here's what I have. Yes, it looks a little bit messy. The only reason why it's all split up right now is because I gave the other half to my parents. Let me give you guys a rundown of what I have. Semi-sweet chocolate chunk. German chocolate cake. I am not lifting this one off of the box. Strawberry ice cream bar. I believe it's this one. This is the uh, this is the, the ice cream bar. We also got the blueberry crumb cake cookie. Um, I decided to eat the blueberry already. <laughs> My bad. Mint chip. 
ice cream. These are the flavors that we got. This is the Powerpuff Girls when it comes to cookies. Ice, spice, and everything nice. That's not how it goes, my bad. And the total for this, this is outside of tax and tip, $22.97. This is a six pack. Alexa, what is 22.97 divided by six? 22.97 divided by six is approximately 3.8283. That's pretty much $4 for each cookie. Let me give you guys a bit of a, a bit of a perspective here. $4 for this, this could, uh, well, you know, put another half on this, but four dollars i feel like it's a bit of a ripoff right it could go for three two dollars and fifty cents all right it probably costs about a dollar to make it it's just they just up the price or whatever but about four dollars is somewhat reasonable this for four dollars yeah that's fine I, no worries. Now, I'm not the greatest reviewer of cookie because I, I don't eat too much cookie, believe it or not. I, I, this, you know, this whole video is a big back moment, but I don't eat cookies that much, believe it or not. I guess without further ado, let's just start eating cookies, all right? The blueberry crumb cake cookie. Let's play one of my own videos right there. Let's give this a shot, all right? Damn. That's not bad. That is not bad. Let me have another bite here, just for the sake of reviewing. A fantastic consistency, all right? Not consistency. I don't even know what the word is for it. Point is, it's soft. It's cooked, but it's soft. And I like that. I like it that way. I think about a billion people could probably back me up on this. I don't like hard cookie, all right? Whenever I eat a cookie, my favorite is definitely like on the softer end. You know what I mean? It tastes really good though. Let's try the chocolate chip. So let me give you a little bit of a close up. This is what it looks like. Very nice. Lots of chocolate on there, right? Let me just... Big chocolate chip cookie is probably the most famous cookie of all time, right? It just became the most popular one because it's the most easiest one to make. I don't know how I... I, I don't know what I'm on about. Let's try it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Believe it or not, I'm not a cookie connoisseur. So take my opinion with a grain of salt, but um, as a as a general consumer of cookies, it's good, man. I, I can't hate. It's really good. Now for the next one, we got the strawberry... Strawberry... I don't, I, oh, fuck. Strawberry ice cream bar. This is what it looks like. This one's one of the more basic ones out of, well, th these are all pretty basic. I think this is just cookie crumbs on top of a cookie. I actually don't know how they made the toppings. Uh, bon Appetit. I think that's my favorite one. Oh, yeah. There was a slight burst of sweetness right there from the strawberry. That's my favorite one, 100%. Oh, yeah, by the way, I just watched the, the debut of Wyatt 6. It is poetic. They came out in uh, the Shatter theme song, too. That's perfect, man. Second to last, we got mint ice cream. There we go. Jesus Christ, my bad. I know a lot of people don't like mint ice cream, but I also know a lot of people like mint ice cream, and I'm one of them. It's almost like the pineapple on pizza debate, you know what I mean? Pineapple on pizza, a lot of people don't like it because, like, why would you put pineapple on pizza? But a lot of people like it because, you know, it's the sweetness in it. And honestly, I'm on the side of liking it. I, li I like pineapple on pizza. Same way as I like mint ice cream, you know what I mean? A lot of people say, ah, oh, no, bro, you're eating toothpaste. You're eating toothpaste ice cream. I could see that, yeah, I could see that, but I could also see that you're a clown <laughs> that i'm playing mint ice cream let's try it yeah that's good oh it's mint chip it's got chocolate chip on it. it's really good i can't hate let's do a little bit of rating the blueberry one seven out of ten chocolate chip seven out of ten the mint chip ice cream eight out of ten strawberry nine out of ten all right and now finally we're gonna get into the german Bro. German chocolate cake. Like I said, uh, out of all the cookies that we got right here, I think this one's the only one that I like that I genuinely think deserves four dollars. All right, I'd pay four dollars for this. I'd pay five dollars for this. This is this is good. It's got pecan on it, and it's also got coconut. Can't give you guys a close up because you know. <laughs> Imagine I just show you guys it close up and it f***ing falls. Very nice. Damn, that's a nine. That's a nine. I'm the type of person that doesn't like too sweet. Like, I'm not the biggest sweet tooth. Whenever I eat chocolate, I like when the chocolate's not too sweet. And uh, you could actually still taste the cocoa and not just sugar. They got it right here, man. This is a perfect amount of sweetness. It's a little bit sweeter than, like, the perfect sweetness for me. It, it doesn't exceed it that much. It's really, really good. Let's have another one, man. Yeah, done. In conclusion, do I think this box is worth $22? Hell no. Is it really good? Hell yeah. What would I price that box? I'd say close to $20, you know what I mean? Not $22. I'd say $18, $17. That's a good price for it. $22 may be a little bit excessive, but, you know, gotta run a company somehow, you know what I mean? Man, overall, it's not too bad. Now this gets me excited because the sequel of this video is gonna be a review of Crumble Cookie versus Insomnia Cookie. Without further ado, what would I rate this overall? Seven and a half, eight out of ten. Yeah, well, let's do a nine. I think it's actually good. Like I said, I don't have too much to base this off of because, I, like I said, man, I don't eat too much cookies. But right now, man, solid eight and a half to nine out of ten. Well, there you go. There you have it. There is my 
uh, comprehensive crumble cookie review. Hope y'all enjoyed. Yep. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Peace. Uh, turn around. Now I got options. Begging me to go, but I tell her to stop it. Always got the key in my heart is the lock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice.